So here it is, guys, we've all been waiting for, Game Hub 5.3.5 optimization settings. In this emulator, today I'm going to show you how to apply the best possible settings, something you honestly won't find anywhere else on the internet. This is a single, perfectly balanced optimization setup that lets your games run smoothly in one go, no shader issues, no crashes. Yes, once you apply these settings, your game will launch successfully on the very first run with full FPS stability. No matter which game you want to play, this one optimization setup is designed to run all types of games on your device without headaches. What makes this video special is that it's completely different from my regular content because these settings are universally supported. It doesn't matter whether your device has a Mali GPU or a Snapdragon processor, with just this single configuration, you can achieve proper optimization and solid FPS on your device. So without wasting any time, first of all, go to Google and search for GameHub, then install the latest version of the GameHub emulator from there. Once the installation is complete, open the app. As soon as you launch it, you'll be asked to log in. Make sure you do this, because the login helps save all your settings to the cloud. After that, enable the required notifications, and once this step is done, the emulator will be ready for setup. Now, to add any game, go to the My section, tap on PC Emulator, and add your game there. Once the game is added, tap on the three dot menu, select Open Settings, and this will open up the Game Settings panel. Guys, first go into General Settings. Here, select the resolution according to your device. I personally recommend setting it to 960 by 544 as this gives the best balance between performance and visuals. After that, leave all the remaining general settings exactly as default, don't change anything else here. Next, move to compatibility mode and keep the compatibility layer set to default. After that, scroll down and open translation params. This is where the updated optimization really comes into play. These new settings, added after recent updates, are specifically meant to deliver better optimization and higher FPS. Inside translation params, First select Extreme Mode. Then, for the second option, enable Multi-Threading. For the third setting, scroll all the way down to the Extreme Mode profile, and there you'll find Code Modification Detect, set this to None. By doing this, the emulator skips unnecessary code checks and only loads the important commands, which directly helps the game run smoother and deliver better FPS. Now, an important thing to understand, the extreme settings I showed you will be saved as default in the emulator's upcoming updates. But for now, you'll need to apply them manually. These settings work perfectly for most games, including AAA titles. However, some unoptimized games may need a different approach. In such cases, you should try switching translation params to performance or compatible mode instead. This is especially recommended for Mali GPU devices because Extreme Mode is not fully supported on all Mali-based phones. For those devices, Performance or Compatible Mode will give you more stable results, along with the additional tweaks I mentioned. After this, hey guys, move to GPU Driver Selection. If you're using the latest Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, you can safely select the system driver or the latest 8 Elite driver available. If you're on a Mali-based device, like most MediaTek phones, simply keep it on system and run the game that way. However, if you're using your regular Snapdragon device, like I am, then you should select the Turnip driver, and make sure you're using the latest version of it. Now let's come to DXVK selection. If you have a Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, you can choose DXVK 2.3.1 or 2.4.1. But the real highlight of this video was the newly updated DXVK 2.3.1 ARM64 EC Async. This version works perfectly on almost any Snapdragon device and gives excellent performance. Another DXVK version I strongly recommend is DXVK 2.7.1 which is currently the latest and most optimized build available. You can use this as well for great result. And if you want to activate the FAX core, then you must select DXVK 2.6.1 ARM64 EC Async. Keep this in mind, if you want the best FPS with the Proton compatibility layer, always go for the ARM64 EC DXVK builds because that's where you get near native performance. Now guys, for Mali based devices, you need to use DXVK 1.10.3, 2.3.1, or 1.11.1 underscore Mali underscore fix. On Mali devices, these DXVK versions usually show up automatically, so you can simply select the appropriate one from the list. After that, scroll down and select the latest FAX driver, and leave all the remaining settings below exactly as they are, no need to change anything else. Then tap on the game and launch it. Once the game opens, 
Don't forget to optimize the in-game graphics settings as well. Remember, you're running PC games on Android, so it's important to keep the graphics as light as possible. This helps prevent overheating and ensures smoother performance during gameplay. And now, guys, just look at this. The game is running on the very first launch, and that too with full, stable FPS. No crashes, no shader issues, no second run needed. This is exactly what these settings are designed for. With this single optimization setup, you can run almost any game you want, without limitations. Whether it's heavy AAA titles or regular PC games, this configuration is built to deliver smooth performance and proper optimization on your device. So if this video helped you out, make sure to like it, because it really motivates me to bring more deep, tested optimizations like this. Subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss future updates, new emulator tweaks, and performance guides. Try these settings on your device, enjoy lag-free gameplay, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy gaming!